low bar. Um, it's one of those beaches in Cornwall that are fairly uncommon, as in it's not a traditional surf beach from the North Atlantic coast. It can fish absolutely brilliantly at times, especially in the winter through some of the uh, December and January. It has a lot of different species, small eye ray, bass, cod, whiting, dab, haddocks in previous years. It's one of those beaches that anything can come out. It's two access points, it's just by Porf Leven. You can come in from the Porf Leven side through a National Trust or there's a car park from the Helston end where you have to walk down a lane. Turn up in daytime, look at your conditions, watch where all the feet marks are on the beach so you know where the waves are coming to and where they aren't. Set up well back from the water's edge, there's been some very experienced people who have spent a lot of hours on this beach who've been caught out sitting on their box all of a sudden the waves engulf their box, their, their rods and um, it's quite a scary experience. When I fish it I tend to keep it quite simple. Um, today the swell was quite big so I wanted simple rigs to, to get distance past the shore dump. Rods that are too stiff, too powerful in the tip aren't very good because the undertow puts such load on your line it just trips the leads out so you need something slightly supple in the tip. Baits, fresh mackerel, sand eel, lugworm, ragworm and crab all do well. The conditions that I like for low bar are, are a good bit of swell and movement, northerly winds, but on my experience if you have a prolonged period of calm and clear skies it can show um, lots of very small pin whiting that, uh, that are, it can get very laborious especially in the winter months. The undertow on the shore dump can be very big and you have to have a bit of patience when you do hook a good fish not to expect to just bully it through. Use the actual waves to land the fish rather than try and drag it against the actual waves. It takes a bit of patience but it saves pulling hooks or snapping lines. The casting ranges can really depend on conditions. Uh, sometimes the fish can be in close, sometimes out far but obviously in close does put you in that zone where your rigs can be buried. One of the challenges you can have at low bar is when you have weed in the water. This collects on your line and catches you the waves and then buries your line. Um, it could be very sometimes be very minor and not an issue. If it is a major issue and you're fishing, sometimes just bring the gear in, wait 20 minutes, it passes and you can start fishing again. Trying to fish through it doesn't work. It invariably your lines will get snapped, um, you end up with reels with no line on it and you have to go home. Um, or you can just put another reel on and it'll happen to the next one. Be observant. Get there in daytime, check it out, watch for the weed, um, watch for the conditions. Very often an offshore, which is a northerly wind, will push the weed out. That makes fishing a bit easier, it makes casting easier as well, but obviously a bit chillier.
Yeah, tonight I used um, standard beach rods casting six ounce weights. I used pulley rigs. I used small strong hooks so I could cope with a bigger fish if I did catch one or a smaller fish could still, still take the smaller baits. Um, because some of the specimens aren't big fish but they are nice fish. If the swell drops down, multi-hook multi -hook rigs can be good for catching um, good quality dab, good whiting, dab to 1.5, regularly caught from this sort of area. Small eye ray, 12 plus, 13 plus, you name it, anything could turn up at low bar.